hey loves welcome back to another video if you are new here i am sharnique welcome to my channel so we're gonna be getting into my wash day routine and listen today wore me out if you know you know wash days are a lot so let's just go ahead and get straight into it i'm starting out doing a hot oil treatment i did let this sit over the stove i bought some water and then i just let it sit in a mason jar i don't have like a a bottle or anything to use so i just kept it in a mason jar i know it's ghetto but whatever it still got the job done so pretty much i'm just gonna pour that over my scalp and just massage that oil on my scalp and then on the rest of my hair oh my gosh this oil felt so good like the heat on it it just felt super super good and i'm just making sure i get thoroughly all over my hair i like to massage that oil in making sure i definitely get on my ends and yeah i definitely enjoy doing hot oil treatments there's so many benefits to doing hot oil treatments i usually do this like once a month and i used to always do this especially when my hair was like bleached and colored and i haven't done it in years so now that my hair is back bleached and colored i'm like yes i need to be doing this and when i used to do it i used to do it with aloe vera as well and uh the combination was just super bomb so i'm probably going to incorporate that back into my hair care routine as well but just to name a few benefits of the hot oil treatment it increases your hair strength it helps with dandruff relief it helps with split ends and it reduces dryness in your scalp and your hair so like i said this is very 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 beneficial for me because i have bleached and colored hair and my hair tends to get drier than usual so this is going to help bring my hair back to life so i'm pretty much just going to um do this all over my head i let this sit in about um well it really depends on how i feel but for the sake of me doing this video i let it sit in for about 15 to 20 minutes so once I let that sit for about 10 to 15 minutes, I'm going in with this Abundi primer. And I'm trying some new products today from this um, this brand. So let's see how it does for me, okay? This product helps reduces breakage and it repairs and helps generate new bonds for stronger hair. So I'm going to just be spraying this all over those sections with the oil still in. I'm going to do the same thing like I did with the oil. I'm going to massage this product in really throughout my hair and then i'm going to let this product sit for 10 minutes so yes the products i will be using is um from this brand called bun bar you can get this at sally's beauty and they sent me like a whole hair care system for my hair specifically for my colored hair so uh, these are the products that i'm going to be using in today's video I'm gonna let that sit so once that is done sitting for about 10 minutes it's time to add the bonding booster. Now, with the bonding booster, this product helps reduce damage during bleach and color treatment, and it's best recommended to use um, after the number two bonding recovery. But I didn't have to use the bonding recovery because I've been to bleach and color my hair. But I figured since my hair has been bleached and color, I'm still going to use this anyway. So I'm going to apply that all over my hair. And I'm gonna let this product sit in for 10 minutes. And it also says it's best to do this two to three times a week. So if you have bleach and colored hair, then yes, definitely check this brand out. They literally have products strictly for, you know, bleach and colored hair. So now I'm going to rinse out the bonding booster and then I'm going to go in with my bonding shampoo. And pretty much the same thing with this product. It helps reduce breakage and it helps strip this and repairs highly damaged hair. So yeah, I'm going to apply the bonding shampoo all over um, the bonding pre-shampoo uh, all over my head. And we're going to let this product sit in for 10 minutes.
All right, we're back. Oh, once we rinse that, um, once we let that sit, I'm rinsing that out. And now I'm going in with the bonding shampoo. And pretty much with the bonding shampoo, again, it reduces breakage. It helps it helps strengthen and repair highly damaged hair after the very first use. And also, I forgot to mention, these products are paraben-free, y'all. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to apply that. I love how this lavender, uh, lavender, lavender, I can't even say the word. I love how this lavender up i think i said it right girl i'd be so tongue twisted but i just love how this product feels and one thing i did notice after rinsing the product out the shampoo did not feel dry and i don't know if that's because i did all the other steps beforehand because when i used this shampoo before i've used it like a few times and when i used it before it was a little dry afterwards so yeah this product that i just showed you guys is the bonding conditioner and i'm gonna let this conditioner sit for about it says let it sit for three minutes but i'm gonna let it sit for however long i need to while i'm doing my shower routine and then i'm gonna go in and rinse it out so i'm just doing it in sections because that's easier for me i'm going to detangle it and just make sure making sure i thoroughly um apply that product all over my hair and then i'm gonna let it sit do a thing and then we're gonna come back and rinse it out with cool water So rinsing the conditioner out, y'all, my hair looks so healthy. It felt so soft. It looks soft. It looks shiny. I definitely feel like the hot oil treatment did its thing and it made a difference in my wash day routine. So yeah, definitely try this out. So now I'm going to get into the aftercare. I made me some homemade rosemary water, y'all. And oh my gosh, if you know, you know, rosemary water is great for hair growth. I put it in this bottle because I didn't have nothing else to put it in. But pretty much I'm just going to section my hair off and spray the rosemary water all over. This is my rosemary oil as well. If you know, you know, okay. I had to cop me some of this. I've been using these two products consistently, okay. And uh, pretty much this is what I would do if I know that I don't want to bother my hair and touch it and mess with it. And usually I don't have nowhere to go or I don't really have to do my hair or anything unless I need to do it. So this is what I would do just to kind of leave my hair alone. So I'm just doing two strand twists all over my head. I'm taking those two products together and just applying it thoroughly throughout my hair and massaging those products in. And yeah, this is pretty much what I would do. And this helps me to leave my hair alone if I don't need to bother it or do my hair. Now, of course, I would do a different style if I needed to do my hair. But yeah, since I'm not really going nowhere, I don't have nowhere to go. This is what your girl is doing. And yes, I'm so excited to show y'all the results from the rosemary water and oil. Stay tuned for that. I'm probably going to do like a video at the end of the month. But girl, this combination has been my top favorite. And it's been just a lifesaver when it comes to my hair especially with it being colored and bleached and this is how i've been able to just keep my hair healthy moisturized and on track and also with the rosemary water and oil i like to apply these products at least three times a week so yeah so pretty much when i'm done with my whole head i like to go in and give my scalp a good old massage one last time if you know scalp massages also helps improve hair growth and that has become like literally a part of my hair care routine consistently throughout the week so this is my wash day girlies i hope you girls enjoy don't forget to check down below my description box for product these i love y'all and i'll see y'all my next video